Hello, kindergartners, and welcome to a new week of science. We are going to go ahead and jump into investigation number one of our new unit, materials and motion. Now, before I tell you what we're going to be learning about this week, I want you to take a peek at these four pictures and think in your brain, what do you think we'll be learning about this week? I asked Miss Rannigan if she had any guesses, and she guessed nature. And I said, no, Miss Rannigan, but good guess. Try again. And she guessed trees. And I said, silly, Miss Rannigan. We already learned about trees. Her third and final guess was wood. And I said, yeah, Miss Rannigan, we're learning all about wood this week. So before we start learning all about wood, I want you to think in your brain about what you already know about wood. For example, I know that a fence can be made out of wood. And I know that trees can be made out of wood. I asked some of your other teachers what they know about wood, and this is what they all had to say. This is Hal and what do you know about wood? <gasps> I know so many things about wood, but my favorite thing about wood is that I can use it to build and create things. Miss Ronigan, what do you know about wood? I know that wood is brown and it can be really little and it can be really big, like our trees outside. Oh, and what do you know about wood? I know that my house is made out of wood. Or what do you know about wood? I know that you can use it to build a fire to keep warm. What do you know about wood? What I know about wood is I love to work with it and you can turn it into bowls or other items or I made a table just the other day from wood. It is an amazing um, material to work with. I love wood. Awesome. Wow, our teachers know a lot about wood. Something else that I know is that there are a lot of different types of wood. Today we are going to be taking a peek at these five samples of wood and we'll be discussing what they look like, how they feel, and maybe even how they smell. So let's go ahead and get started. The five samples that we have are called cedar. Go ahead and say that with me, cedar. The next one is basswood. Say that one with me, ready? Basswood. This one in the middle is called pine. Say that one with me, pine. This next one is called plywood. Go ahead and say that with me, plywood. And last but not least, this bottom one is called particle board. Go ahead and say that with me, particle board. Awesome, we're gonna take a peek at these one at a time, starting with cedar. So if I flip our cedar over, you can tell on this side, it looks like there are some lines going through it. This cedar sample looks pretty tan or darker brown. On this side, it looks pretty flat and smooth, and it feels really smooth too. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a sniff. Ooh, this cedar smells pretty good, just like nature. Awesome, so this first one, remember, is called cedar. I'm gonna flip it over so we can compare it to our others, and I'll put it right over here. The next one we'll be taking a peek at is called basswood. Let's go ahead and see what this one looks like. Oh, interesting. So if you can compare the basswood with the cedar, you notice that basswood is a little lighter than the cedar is. And there's still a couple lines going through it, but they're not as noticeable as the cedar lines were. And on this side, you can barely notice those lines at all. Interesting. It's also very smooth on all the sides. I'm gonna give it a sniff. Ooh, yummy. This basswood smells delightful also. So this second sample was called basswood. Let's go ahead and take a look at pine. You might know what pine is, especially around Christmas time. We use pine trees a lot as Christmas trees. So this wood is from a pine tree. Let's go ahead and take a peek at what this wood looks like. Ooh, so if you compare it to our cedar and our basswood, you notice it's almost the same color as our basswood. It's just a little yellower, but it has some of these lines in it, just like the um, cedar did. That's pretty interesting. And if I flip it to the other side, oh, you can see even more of those lines. This side is a little bit more rough. Let's see if I can give you a close up. It's a little more rough, but this side is really smooth. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a sniff. Ooh, this pine smells so, so good. This third sample was pine. As you can tell, each one of these looks a little bit different. They're all a different color. Some of them have more 
prominent lines going through them. Some of them don't, but they're all wood. Let's take a look at these last two samples. This one is called plywood. Let's see what it looks like on the side. Ooh, this one is very interesting looking. If you look really closely, you can see it looks like it's kind of in layers of different types of wood. Let's see if I hold it up closer, if we can get it so you can see it. Let's see. Perfect. If you look really closely, you can notice that it looks like there are some layers in this wood. Huh. Very interesting. And if I go ahead and touch it, ooh, it is extremely rough on this side. But if I flip it over to this side, it looks like it's all one piece of wood on this side, and it's really smooth over here. Hmm, this plywood is very, very interesting. I'm going to go ahead and give it a sniff. Ooh, this one doesn't smell very good. This one kind of smells like glue, if I'm being honest. Weird. So this one is called plywood. If you take a peek at the other types of wood, this one is very, very different than the others. Pretty cool. Last but not least, we're looking at our particle board. This one is also very interesting because if you look really close at it, it kind of looks like it's a bunch of little splinters kind of glued together. You can see it looks like there's a bunch of holes. You might say this one kind of looks like a cork, if you know what a cork is. I'm going to go ahead and feel it. Ooh, this is really bumpy all over. It feels like I might get a splinter if I'm not careful. This side looks almost just like the other side. It's also super, super bumpy. I'm going to go ahead and give it a sniff. Ooh, this one also smells just like glue does. Ew, I do not like the way that smells. So here, again, we're our five samples of wood that we looked at today. This top one was called cedar. The next one was called basswood. The third one was called pine. This one right here was called, oops, plywood. And this last one that we looked at is called particle board. Do you have a favorite type of wood sample? Now that we've talked about the different types of wood samples we have, we're going to be talking about where each one of these wood samples come from. A couple of our teachers already said that they know wood comes from trees. You got it. Wood always come from tree, comes from trees. The part of the tree that is always wood is the trunk and the branches, the twigs, and the roots. You got it. The leaves are not wood, just the trunk, branches, twigs, and roots. Now we're going to take a peek at these three wood samples down at the bottom, and we're going to talk about which tree each wood sample comes from. The different samples all come from different trees. Let's start over here with the pine sample. I just want you to think in your brain, do you think the pine sample comes from a pine tree, a linden tree, or a cedar tree, the pine sample. I think it makes sense if the pine sample comes from the pine tree, don't you? Good work. Next, we're going to take a look at the cedar sample right here. Do you think cedar comes from a linden tree or from a cedar tree? I think it would make sense if the cedar sample comes from a cedar tree. Last but not least, we have basswood. Does it make sense for basswood to come from a linden tree? It must because that's our last one. It's a little silly because cedar comes from a cedar tree, pine comes from a pine tree, but basswood doesn't come from a basswood tree. Basswood comes from a linden tree. But remember, wood always comes from a t -t -t tree. Good work. Now, friends, we're going to be looking at a couple things that you might be able to find in your classroom. And we will be figuring out whether the thing is wood or if it is not wood. The very first picture is a picture of a pencil. If you think it is wood, go ahead and nod your head. If you think a pencil is not wood, go ahead and shake it, shake it, shake it. Do you think a pencil is wood? It sure is. The strong, tall, yellow part of the pencil is absolutely wood. Next picture, I want you to take a peek at that table and those chairs. 
Don't let the colorful chairs fool you. Do you think this table is made out of wood? It sure is. That table and chairs are made out of wood. The chairs are just painted fun colors for the classroom. Do you think a scoop chair is made out of wood? No, it is not. A scoop chair is made out of hard plastic. What about the smart board in your classroom? Is the smart board made out of wood? No, the smart board is made out of plastic and electronics. No wood. What about the front door of your classroom? Does that door look like it's made out of wood? It absolutely is. Great work. I know in my classroom, in Miss Allen's classroom, we have a bunch of these brown stools. Do you think those brown stools are made out of wood? They totally are. And if you take a close peek both at the door and the stool, you can notice some of those lines like we were talking about in our wood samples. Those are definitely wood. Great work. Wow, friends, we've been learning so much about wood. It is time for us to show our learning in our science journal. So I want you to go ahead, find your science journal. It's brand new. It should be in your distance learning materials. It has a tree on the front. I want you to take your time to write your name really nicely and then open up to the very front page. It's the first page that we're completing today. Remember, this is a real book and you need to take your time to make it look as nice as you can so that you can be proud of your work and so that the grown up at home can be proud of your work as well. For your science journal today, the question you are going to be answering is where does wood come from? We just talked about it a few minutes ago. Remember, wood comes from a tree. So the very first thing you're going to be doing in your science notebook is you're going to be drawing a picture of a tree. Remember, a tree has a brown trunk. I'm going to draw it as nicely as I possibly can so that the grown-up at home is really impressed with my hard work. I'm going to draw a couple branches at the top, maybe a couple twigs. I'm trying my best. Ooh, I think my tree's looking pretty good. Awesome, so there's my trunk. I'm gonna take just a couple minutes to color it in. Remember, try your best to make it look really nice. Awesome, looks good to me. Next, I am going to draw some of those beautiful leaves at the top of my tree. Remember, the leaves are always, always, always green. Perfect, and then I'm gonna take just a few minutes to color in those leaves, make it look nice, be sure you're not scribbling, try your best to stay in the lines. There you go, that is my tree. Now I'm going to take my erasable pencil and I'm going to write that wood comes from trees. So it already says wood comes from, so I do not need to copy those words. The only word I need to be writing with my erasable pencil is the word trees. I'm gonna sound it out. T -t -e wood comes from trees. And do you remember what goes at the end of my sentence? A period, you got it. Once you are all done drawing your tree and writing your sentence, you are all done with science.